Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate expression 2 plus x over y whole power 86 plus 2 plus y over x whole power 86. Given that x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0, where x and y cannot be 0. So let's get started by writing or considering required expression equal to e first. Now we will write our known equation x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. Now we will multiply this equation by 4 both sides. So let us multiply times 4. We will write 4x square plus 4y square plus 4xy equal to 0. Now we will split 4y square. Let me write here 4x square plus 4y square can be written as y square plus 3y square. So in total it is 4y square. Then we have one last term 4xy and right hand side is 0. Now we will pick these three terms all together and we can say this is 2x plus y whole square plus 3y square equal to 0 or we can write 2x plus y whole square equal to minus 3y square. Now we are going to divide both sides by x square. So let me write here 2x plus y whole square divided by x square in the LHS equal to minus 3y square over x square. As we know x cannot be 0. Now we will use exponent law and we can write 2x plus y over x whole square equal to minus of 3 times y square over x square or we can divide our denominator x in the LHS. So we will write 2 plus y over x whole square equal to minus 3 times y square over x square and this bracket is here power is 86 so what we will do here we will consider whole power 43 so let us consider whole power 43 both sides this side also we will consider whole power 43 now i can write 2 plus y over x whole power will be 2 times 43 which is 86 as we know a power b whole power c this is equal to a power b times c in rhs we need to write minus 3 times y square over x square whole power 43 Now this complete term is there in our required expression E. Now we will consider equation once again. Let me write here. I will write x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. We will multiply again by 4 both sides. So I will write this time. 4y square plus 4x square plus 4xy equal to 0 times 4 is 0. Now we are going to split 4x square this time. So we will be writing 4y square plus x square plus 4xy and then we will write remaining 3x square. 
equal to 0. Now from first three terms, we can write this is 2y plus x whole square equal to, if I will take 3x square to the RHS, I can write minus 3x square. Now we are going to divide both sides by y square, y square as y cannot be equal to 0. Using exponent law, we can write 2y plus x over y whole square. This will be equal to minus 3x square over y square. Or 2 plus x over y whole square equal to minus 3x square over y square. Now you can see 2 plus x over y is here but power is 86. So I need to consider again whole power 43. So this side also we will put whole power 43. So I can write here 2 plus x over y whole power will be 2 times 43 which is 86. This whole term of our required expression E. This will be equal to minus 3x square over y square whole power 43. Now we are going to put the values to our required expression E. So I can write minus, let me write here, minus 3x square over y square whole power 43. This is our first term. Let me write here expression E equal to plus. Second term was minus 3y square over x square whole power 43. Now we have to simplify. So I will write minus 3 is common. So I will write minus 3 raised to the power 43. In bracket, we can write x square over y square with whole power 43 plus y square over x square with whole power 43. Now we can write minus 1 raised to the power 43 times 3 raised to the power 43. This is minus 3 whole power 43. And in curly bracket, we can use exponent law and we can write this is xy whole square and then we have whole power 43 plus y over x whole square and then we'll be writing whole power 43. Again, we will use a power b whole power c equal to a power b c property from exponent. So we can write e will be equal to minus 1 with odd power will be minus 1. So I will write minus. Then we have 3 power 43. Then in curly bracket, we are going to write x over y whole power 86, 2 times 43 is 86 plus y over x whole power 86. This is our simplified form of the expression so far. Now we are going to consider substitution. Let's say x over y is alpha, y over x is beta. So we are going to calculate expression E equal to minus of 3 raised to the power 43. In curly bracket, alpha power 86 plus beta power 86. Let me write here E equal to 
माइनस ऑफ थ्री पार फोर्टी थ्री टाइम्स अल्फा पार एटी सिक्स प्लस बीटा पार एटी सिक्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट अल्फा प्लस बीटा एंड अल्फा टाइम्स बीटा सो लेट मी राइट हेयर अल्फा प्लस बीटा वैल्यू दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वाई ओवर एक्स प्लस एक्स ओवर वाई वंस वी विल टेक एलसीएम वी आर गोइंग टू गेट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर ओवर एक्स वाई एंड फ्रॉम अवर ओरिजिनल इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स वाई इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन राइट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू माइनस एक्स वाई विच वी विल अप्लाई हेयर सो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट माइनस एक्स वाई ओवर एक्स वाई वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन सो लेट मी राइट हेयर अल्फा प्लस बीटा इक्वल टू माइनस वन Now we will calculate alpha times beta. So this will be equal to y over x times x over y. Value will be equal to one. So I can write our second equation alpha times beta equal to one. Now from these two equations, we can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta. Then first equation is telling us sum of root and second equation is product of roots so we can write here quadratic equation in t whose roots are alpha and beta t square minus sum of roots so minus 1 times t plus product of roots 1 equal to 0 or t square plus t Plus one equal to zero. Now, if I will plug in t equal to one, let's check t equal to one. So one plus one plus one. LHS is three. RHS is zero, which is not true. So we can say for this equation, t cannot be equal to one. Now we can multiply both sides by t minus one. So let me write here t minus one times t square plus t plus one equal to zero. Or I can write this is one algebraic identity a cube minus b cube. So t cube minus one cube equal to zero. We can write t cube will be equal to one. Here t cannot be one. Roots are alpha and beta, so any time we can plug in t equal to alpha, we'll be getting alpha cube equal to one. And for t equal to beta, we are going to write beta cube equal to one. Now the time of calculating or evaluating our expression, which was minus of three raised to the power. 43 in the bracket alpha power 86 plus beta power 86 now i will use exponent law and i can write e will be equal to minus of 3 power 43 and in the bracket i can write alpha power 86 As alpha power 84 times alpha square plus beta power 84 times beta square. Now 84 we can write three times 28. Let me write here expression e equal to minus of three power 43. Then we will write in other bracket alpha cube. Whole power twenty eight times alpha square plus beta cube whole power twenty eight. This is beta power eighty four times beta square. 
so alpha cube is one this is one this is also one so we will get one part 28 one part 28 so we can write minus of 3 power 43 in the bracket alpha square plus beta square now we know one algebraic identity we can use the identity or formula and write here alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta now we know that alpha plus beta is minus 1 alpha beta is 1 so we can write minus of 3 power 43 here we'll write minus 1 is square minus 2 times 1 so value will come out minus of 3 power 43 and in the bracket we can write 1 minus 2 which will give us minus 1 so our final answer becomes 3 power 43 this is our final answer i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye